Hello and welcome. So um, this is a how-to video, a training video, a tutorial video that shows you exactly how to find your way around INEC portal, all right? INEC portal. Um, as we all prepare in Nigeria for the 2023 elections, a lot of people have been having issues either updating their records on the INEC portal, trying to transfer their polling unit, trying to revalidate their records, that is their PVCs, trying to probably request for a new PVC, I mean, or a damaged PVC or a lost PVC. So this tutorial video will cover all that. The first thing you want to do is um, on your mobile phone, just as you can see casted on my screen, you want to open your web browser. Once you open a web browser on your mobile phone, it could be Google Chrome or whatever browser that comes with your phone, head straight to the URL section here and type in the following, cvr.inecnigeria.org. Once you have that, you enter and that should take you to the INEC portal, okay? So this is the INEC portal. Now, we understand that a lot of us have not registered an account on the INEC portal, so I'll quickly take us through that in a brief step. So you want to scroll in down to the bottom end and click on Get Started. Once you click on Get Started, it takes you to the different services that is offered. Okay, you have different services, start registration, voter information and the rest of them. So don't waste too much of your time. Just go ahead straight to start registration. And as you can see, it will want to find out whether you are new to the portal or you already have an account. So what you want to do is you either sign up, okay? You either sign up if you have an account on the INET portal or you sign in. I mean, sign up rather if you don't have an account, sorry. And then sign in if you have an account already. So what do I mean? Sign up simply means you want to create a new account on the INEC portal because if you don't create an account on the portal, you cannot do anything on that portal. That is the typical truth. So for those who don't have an account on the INEC portal, what you want to do is to scroll down here where you have sign in with Google or log in with your email. For those who already have an account, if you don't, you go further down where you have new portal user, okay? And then you fill in all these informations that you have here, okay? You put in your first name, put in your last name, your mobile number, email address. This is very crucial. This email address is very crucial. You type it in again the second time, then choose a password of your choice, and then click on this, I am not a robot. Once you have done all that, you click on continue, and then you would be shown the next process or if your gmail account if you have a gmail account and your gmail is already signed in on your web browser please not on the app on this web browser if you already signed into your gmail on the web browser the first method to this is just to simply click on sign in with google once you click on sign in with google you should automatically synchronize your account that you have already signed into the Gmail, it will be easy to create an account for you, and that is faster than filling all this information. Okay, so whichever is your choice, just use it and it works for you. So, in my case, I will just use the simplest method because I understand many people may not know how to use the signing with Gmail. So, I will use the simplest method. So, give me a few minutes, let me quickly fill in the information. So, I have filled in my information and I clicked on that small box that says I am not a robot. As soon as I clicked on it, it brought up this. This is called a capture. It is just to make sure that you are not a robot. So what you want to do is read what you have up here. It says select all images with mountains or hills. If you are lucky, you may not see this, okay? But in case you see it, just do the following instructions. Select just whatever you are asked to do, do it. In my case, I'm asked to select all images with mountains or hills. So I'll look out for these pictures. Wherever I see a mountain, I'll click on it or wherever I see a hill. Okay, so in this case, there's a hill here, there's a mountain here, there's uh, something like a hill here, there's another mountain down here. Okay, 
So I click on verify. Okay, so you see it has checked the box for me. Once I'm done with that, I click on continue. You see that it's as simple as that. An account has been created for me. Okay, so I'll click on return home and then it takes me to the INEC portal. All right, so here now I will simply have to sign in because what I just did now is to sign up. I created an account. So what I want to do now is I will sign in. And to sign in, two ways, either I click on get started again, or I can click on this arrow here and click on sign in. Okay, that's another way to sign in and register. So remember, I already created an account. So I will click, I will go to the login section now, no longer sign up. I'll go to the login section and then I would fill in my information. Okay, so... Um, give me a few minutes and fill in the information I just created an account with. So I have filled in the information, okay, and I'll click on log in. Now watch what happens. It says I can't get in because I have not verified my email, all right? So what I would now want to do is I will go over to my email to go and check what INEC has sent into my email. So this is my email, and then I will quickly check out or refresh to see what INEC has sent into my email so i have checked my email i can't find any message from inec okay so i'm just trying to give you all possibilities all right i can't find any mail from inec i'll go back to that website where i created an account the inec portal and then where i am giving this information that i can't get in because i have not verified my email click here to send another notification so i'll click here and then they'll ask me to put in my email address which I used to register which is this I've put it in and then I click on I am not a robot again and then I submit so I've been asked to go back to my email again to check if I got a message I should also check my spam and my junk folders okay so I head over to my email now and then I go to refresh my email whether I'll find anything again there is nothing here so I'll check my spam message to see if there's anything of such there's still nothing here i'll check everything because if you don't go through this you may not be able to get access to your inec portal and you won't be able to do anything on the portal so you need to get through this phase all right so i have checked everywhere in my email and i can't find any message from inec okay that is possible i'm sure it's a technical problem they probably have issues with their api settings so what you want to do is use the alternative method okay i'm just doing, doing this to show you all possibilities in case you encounter a similar problem so the alternative method will be to open a tab if you are not logged into your own gmail okay i'm just going to show you this quickly open a new tab on your web browser okay and try to sign into your gmail say gmail.com if you're using a gmail if it's a yahoo mail that you're using do the same thing okay try to sign into your gmail that is on your browser please not on your app except if you want to be navigating both ways okay but it's faster on the browser so sign into your gmail on your browser this is not the page you will see you'll probably be seeing sign in page where you put in your login your gmail login details and then once you're logged in you can then go back to the INEC portal, go back to the INEC portal and click on sign in with Google. Okay, and then you choose that account that you created. Okay, that particular email address that you used to create a portal, an account on INEC portal. Choose that particular email address and hopefully that should sign you in into your account. So wait for that to get in. So you see, it says, I have been successfully logged into the account. Okay, so this method does not need verification from email and all that. So once you are done, this is basically how you can register, okay, for an account on INEX portal. So if you scroll down, you see the different things you can do on INEX portal. You can... Probably for now, this particular first option is restricted because it has been closed. This is for new users. If you have never or you have not requested for 
a PVC before. Probably you just clocked 18 or this is your first time for registering for PVC. You cannot do this online. You need to go to any of your local government or the INEC office to do this particular option. But before now, it was available. So this is how you can pre-register before you go over to the local government or the INEC um, office to do your thumbprint and the facial, whatever. So this option is no longer available, new voter registration. So forget about this for now. The other things you can do on this portal is one, you can review your information. So if you have, if you have long registered, probably you registered for PVC in 2011 or thereabout, and you have not updated your records because by 2023, the machine that will be used, we need to capture your new look. So if the image you used in 2011 is what I next have on their portal, of course, you know you must have changed since 2011 till now. Probably some of you have grown beards. Some of you have new, new marks on your face per se. So you need to update your record on INEC portal so that what picture that appears on INEC portal is your most recent picture, okay? And that is the essence of this review. So if you want review or we call it revalidation, if you want to revalidate your record on INEC portal, this is the option you use. We'll get to that in another video. This is to make transfers of your polling units. Probably you registered previously at Enugu, and now you have moved to Lagos, you want to be able to vote in Lagos, this is how you can transfer your polling unit from where you registered at Enugu to where you are currently in Lagos, all right? So this is the option for that. This information update is basically to put up an, um, an updated record of yourself. Probably a mistake was made on your PVC, your surname was misspelled, or whatever went wrong in your data this is where you can update that record change whatever you need to change right in this information update the next one is to collect your pvc you have registered for your pvc you don't know where it is you don't know where it has been printed or whatever you can locate your pvc right with this option this will probably tell you where your pvc is at the moment okay and where you can go to collect it and lastly this is for those who already have PVCs that have been validated, but for one reason or the other, it was either lost, probably you lost your CV, your PVC rather to robbery or theft, or if you notice, the information on your PVC is wiped out, okay? It has wiped off, so you need a fresh PVC. This is where you can request for another PVC. Please, not for new PVCs, not for new registration but for old registration with damaged pvcs you can register here to request for another pvc okay so these are the various things that you can actually do this video has shown you how to create an account on the inet portal and the various options and the various features that you can carry out okay on the inet portal so in the next videos i will be showing you the different steps that you can take to um, carry out each of these different features that you already see right here on the INEC portal. So um, just check around the channel, you should see each of this video right there. Thank you.